Now, a special day for Jared Gillard. It's his 159th and final A-League match. Probably the longest intro I'll get. Your last game, you mic'd up. From what I've listened to and seen of it, it, it almost like it was a natural thing for you. It was so easy to do. What has been produced afterwards and, and put out was genuine, legitimate, and I wasn't even aware that that was going to happen. So in terms of the authenticity and how the comms were, that's just our regular communication kit that we use every week. I reckon that's a yellow. Yeah, I reckon so too, Bruce, mate. Bruce, that's really, really late, mate. Yeah. And those exchanges that happen with players are commonplace. It's just they're not heard because of the broadcast of comms at the moment isn't permitted to happen live. And so there is a little bit of secrecy around, you know, those sort of exchanges that happen between players and referees. Tony! Hey! What are you doing, mate? If it's your free kick, run to the ball. If it's not your free kick, move away. Yeah? For you, though, wasn't it a feeling of finally people get to understand a little bit as to why I come to a decision and how we have that relationship with people on the pitch? Yeah, absolutely. I think that was, that was a real positive of those comms being put out afterwards was that there's a bit more of an appreciation that actually we, we can quickly explain things, offer an interpretation to players that most times they'll accept um, what's happened if you can explain it in quick, simple terms. Matty, I'll just explain. Yeah, it's come off your defender, so it's fine. Yep. Yeah, he's on. Yep. Looking ahead to the future, I think certainly uh, I can see at some point in time that the comms, certainly between referees and VARs and some elements of the, of the decision-making process will be, will be broadcast. Thanks, mate. It's not leaving a great kick. Nah, I'll leave it there. What number? Thanks, BJ. Appreciate that much. How did that feel to get the recognition from players, that, that, that human element of their appreciation of, of how you referee through all those times in Australia? Yeah, it was, it was quite humbling to be honest. It was really nice and you know, I guess it's, it took me 10 years to get to a point where you develop a mutual respect with players and again, I think it's a bit of an unseen element of the relationship between players and referees that actually there is an underlying level of really you know, ingrained respect. Gillett blows well his man. whistle for the last time in yes, the Hyundai A-League. Very big, mate. Thanks, Chris.